Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I do hope you decide to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. Our devotions are coming from Brenda Kuhneman's book called The Daily Prophecy and today is Monday, January the 24th. Our devotion today is entitled Decree a Blessing. Let's hear the prophetic word. Decree a blessing over what you seem to lack. For what doesn't seem to be enough, says the Lord, shall become more than enough when you bless it, and it shall multiply for you. God is good. I'll pause before I read the scripture. You know, decreeing anything as a Christian, I don't know if you guys think or feel the way that I do. I always felt that was something I wasn't authorized to do. I, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody, like a pastor or someone like that would have the power or the authority to decree something. So whenever I heard that, I just felt like, is that something I'm supposed to do? And one thing I've been learning is that every believer, no matter what office you hold, has the power to decree. We have the power and the authority. So if that's been a hang up for you, I get you. <laughs> I've been there, but we have to walk in our power. We can't believe um, the lies that we don't have the ability or the authority to decree things. So let's hear the scripture. It comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 14, verse 19. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass and took the five loaves and the two fishes and looking up to heaven, he blessed and break and gave the loaves to his disciples and the disciples to the multitude. The multiplication of the loaves and fishes. You know, I heard about a similar miracle happening. Oh my gosh, forgive me. The last name of the, the evangelist or um, the speaker is Baker. She's in Africa. She has been such an example of faith. And it, I, forgive me that her name is escaping me, but she had come to, uh, I'd heard a chapel where she spoke. I attended that. And she was telling us, you know, she has such a heart for the people in Africa. And they were doing... Um, a meal distribution. It could have been like for Thanksgiving or Christmas. I don't remember. I think I want to say it was for a special occasion. And they had, you know, like a turkey and or, you know, some kind of meat and some vegetables and maybe like potatoes or rice or something like that. And they just had like a pan of each thing. And, and if you can just imagine the number of people that came, thousands of them, and they were like, we're never going to be able to feed all of them. So they prayed and they blessed and they said, we're just going to keep distributing food and making up plates until everyone's fed, until we run out, basically, she said. And when, when we run out, we run out. They fed every single person that came and there were leftovers. Literally, as they were dishing out the food and slicing off the turkey, it was not diminishing. And they didn't realize they were just busy serving and blessing people. And at the end of it all, just like with the loaves and the fishes, they, everyone had an ample portion and they were coming back for seconds. To me, I love hearing about those stories. Most people don't believe them, but God does these things. They had prayed and asked the Lord. Their heart was to serve and feed these people. And they only had a meager amount and the Lord was able to multiply it. And, and it was something that was happening that they didn't even realize was happening. It wasn't until they were finished that they began to realize, just as it happened for the disciples. He broke the bread, he distributed it, and he said, go. And as they were passing it out, it just continued to multiply. God still does those things, guys. So be looking for it. We know the story of Jesus and how he fed the multitude with only the loaves of bread and two small fish. Yet, we often overlook the part about how Jesus took something that was insufficient and how his words caused it to become sufficient. Jesus took what was not enough 
And when he spake a blessing over it, suddenly it became more than enough. There is no doubt that when Jesus decreed a blessing over the handful of food, he knew his words carried power to produce a miracle. Your words have power today. Begin speaking a blessing over something in your life that feels insufficient. Declare that what isn't enough becomes more than enough. Perhaps it is your finances or something in your business. Maybe you are lacking in some measure of self-confidence or self-worth. Start reversing it by speaking a blessing about who you are and who God had made you. If there is something that you are lacking today, speak a blessing over it and expect that what isn't enough to become supernaturally more than enough. When we start walking in the authority that God has given us, we become a great danger to the kingdom of darkness. He uses things like a lack of self-confidence, a lack of self-worth, just like me saying I didn't think I, it was my place to decree anything, that it should be a pastor or somebody in a position of authority. When in actuality, we all stand in that same authority. They have been given a specific job and anointing to preach, to prophesy, to teach, whatever it is. We can walk in that authority. Now, make sure that when you are seeking the Lord about what is insufficient in your life, that you are aligning yourself with his will. His will is to prosper you, to not harm you, and to give you hope in a future. You want to make sure what you're asking God to increase is being done with the right heart motive. Ask the Lord to align your heart with his purpose and then bless those things that you need. Bless the finances. Bless your self-confidence. Give you what you need today. Let's pray the prayer. Father, I decree a blessing over every area of my life that is lacking. I declare that I have more than enough. I decree miraculous multiplication and I say that I shall live in overflow blessing. I have divine supply to meet every need. I say I bless it and I know that provision is multiplied for me on every side today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now in your, in your own time, if you want to specify the area of blessing, I speak a blessing over my business, over my finances, over my self-image. Whatever it is you want to speak a blessing and multiplication for, you can get specific. You should get specific. God bless you. Thank you for spending a little time with me today. I hope that that has blessed you. I hope that those of you who are watching this got an itch, are growing in your understanding and revelation of God's word. He loves you. And I thank you for spending a little time with me. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Bye until next time.